If you're a fan of Square Enix, then chances are you've had to endure some lengthy wait times for some of your game's favorite releases. Whether it be a Final Fantasy title or a Kingdom Hearts one, we're all used to waiting several months, or even years, for the next bit of news or updates on some of our beloved franchises. It's a real struggle, only made better by the fact that whenever Square eventually does release something, more often than not, they hit a huge home run. All this extra development time and silence is extremely frustrating, but in the end, we receive some great games. It appears as though we're in one of those news droughts once again, though, regarding quite a few different titles, but the end may finally be in sight. Square Enix was announced as one of the participants in the upcoming September Tokyo Game Show, and naturally, all Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII Rebirth fans have to wonder, could this be our time? Could we be getting some big reveals? I think there stands a strong possibility, especially since it has been claimed that the Tokyo Game Show will hold its largest ever event later this year. By the time TGS does roll around, we will already be nearing the last few months of the year, of 2023, so it makes sense for Square Enix to use this opportunity to showcase their major franchises, especially one like Rebirth that was originally scheduled to release this upcoming winter. While that was always a bit of a generous prediction, the recent trailer mentioned early 2024 as their next release date target. Surely Square Enix will throw in a few more trailers our way to hype us up and sell this sequel even more before the year's through. Perhaps we get to see some of the new playable characters like Vincent Valentine in action, maybe even Sid, or we get some more clarification on Zack and his role in the sequel. Either way, it'll be a bit of a missed opportunity to not reveal something Rebirth related when TGS does roll around. But then this begs the question, what about Kingdom Hearts? If a Rebirth trailer seems pretty likely to happen, do you think it's possible we could also get news on Sora's next game in the franchise? Or the often talked about mobile title Missing Link that still has yet to grace our presence? Because it's been quite a long time since we've heard anything Kingdom Hearts related, so much so that fans are getting a bit discouraged. But at the same time, this drought cannot and will not go on forever. And now that FF16 has been released, it'll soon be time for Square Enix to begin the marketing and the hyping up of other titles. Titles like that of Kingdom Hearts 4. Of course, I want to know what everyone else's thoughts are regarding the Tokyo Game Show and Square Enix's role. What games and franchises do you think we'll see at this event? Will it finally be time for more Kingdom Hearts news? Just leave your thoughts and theories in the comments. Feel free to hit like or subscribe to help support the channel, and if you want to stay up to date on everything Square Enix related, consider following me on Twitter at Kafee underscore S. My name is Kafee, and I'm wishing you a great day every day. May your heart be your guiding key, my friends, and happy gaming.